What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls Skyrim video. In this one, we are actually going to be doing the quest that we got inside of that little shop behind us. Uh, and it's called Promises to Keep. Uh, essentially, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over and talking to Sibby Blackbriar about Frost, uh, which is a breeding horse. Uh, that he was trying to sell, but he ended up getting, or he, yeah, he ended up getting arrested. So, by his own sister, I might add. So, we're gonna go over there and see if we can try to talk to him and potentially get him to go through this, the deal that they have made. So, let's go over there and do that really quick. Looks like we're going to the keep. Alright. This should be it. But it... It kind of looks like it's around the side. Oh, yep, right here. Rift in jail. Alright, well, let's see what's over here. Do me a huge favor, by the way, guys, uh, and drop a like on the video if you're excited to watch this video. Not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Um, it's fine. I'm allowed down here. Sure, and I'm Queen Baron Zaya. Aw, man. Tell me another one. Uh, can I pass now? That's just insulting. Not even a proper bribe. Damn it! Bloody tourists. Well, <laughs> so much for that. I gotta get my, uh, my speech craft up. So I can't do this yet. So I guess for now, I suppose we'll go over there to Riverwood and continue on with the main storyline. So... Before I go over there, though, and actually talk to what her, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, man. Also, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel because it really does help this channel grow. Uh, Orphan Rock? Riverwood. Alright. Not really entirely sure how I just, or I got the ri uh, Orphan Rock marker on my thing, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. What's with that music? Sounds suspenseful. Shut up, Sangrid. Alright, let's go inside the Sleeping Giant Inn and talk to this lady herself. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. You're just getting here? I went and did some other things in the process. Alright, let's go. You're not even gonna close your little secret hiding place, Delphine? You must not really care about pe your secret identity. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Yeah, and how's that? You're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwyn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? Uh, I do. that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Uh, who's this contact of yours? You sure we can trust him? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Interesting. Do you know him? Uh, where is he? I guess Fandle doesn't care. All right. Uh, how am I uh, going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation. Don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. 
Well, I guess I'll see you in solitude then. After I meet Malborn. Sounds good. Be careful. Yes, ma'am. Um. Oh, now you decide to show up. Uh, there's nothing here, huh? Nope. All right, we've looks like we've already taken everything we wanted. What? Something you're still confused about? Oh my God, Delphine, shut up! So we gotta go. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Why are you following me out here? Uh, we gotta go to Solitude. So first things first, we haven't discovered Solitude yet. I don't think. Let me see. No, we haven't. So we haven't discovered Solitude yet, so we have to go to the White Run Stables and hire this individual over to to take us over to the Solitude Stables, and from there, obviously, we'll we'll go from there. Hey, what's up, sir? I got another uh, transaction for you. Need a ride? Yes, I do. I'd like to hire Where your carriage. You uh, Solitude, my kind sir. I don't do charity. No gold, no ride. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm out of gold. Uh, how much gold do I have? Ten gold? I need ten more gold. Let's see. Do I have things to sell? Um, I can sell some potions. Uh, like the potion of the warrior. Yeah, let's go. Well, let's wait until the morning. And then what? by the time we get there, man, it should be plenty of time. Yeah, we'll go now. By the time we get there, it should be time for them to open. We're going to be talking to probably that one lady that's right at the front. Uh... I forgot her name, man. The daughter of, uh, the house servant guy. <laughs> Preventus, I think his name is. Avenici, or, I think it was Avenici. I don't fucking know, all right? You know what? I forgot all their names. Leave me alone. Be nice to me. You. Sell me things. who can get things done. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. So, uh, sell me something. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what she sells. Hide boots, hunting bows, fire resistance, drain magicka. Okay. Um, okay, you have nothing for me. Let me see if she, du uh, double check and make sure she doesn't have any, no, she doesn't. Alright, so let's go ahead and, oh, she does, I can't sell her shit. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Alright, well, I'm gonna talk to Belter. I'm not gonna talk to your husband, because it's probably gonna be the, the same thing. So, let's talk to Bellator. Oh man. I didn't make it in time. Let me know if you see anything you like. Yes, of course. Everything's first. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Alright, come on, Bellator. I got some shit to sell you, alright? Uh. No, I can use that. I don't even know what that is, but I want it. You can have that. Um. You can have these two. You can have that. You can have that. And that. Yeah, fuck it. There you go. Alright, let's go. I should have more than enough to get on out of here now. Alright. I want to see this carriage guy tell me that I don't have enough gold now. Because now I'm in the hundreds yep i have 763 gold now come on guy let take me to solitude i really should try to level up my like chemistry and or not my chemistry whatever what the crafting thing for 
up like the apothecaries and stuff like that, you know? I forget. Alright. Alright. Need a ride? Yep. Where do you want to go? Canada. Climb and back and we'll be off. Awesome. First time in solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already know. I did know that. So most of the shipping in Solitude is run by the Imperial Financed East Company. East Empire Company. There's a freaking somewhat secret quest, dude, that you could do here. I think it's called like Rise in the East or something like that. It's such a freaking cool mission, dude. Oh wait, I have to actually go in there, do I, don't I? All right, let's go into Solitude though, because we have to meet Melbourne in this super freaking long entrance. <laughs> Takes forever to get there. Moors, wares, and weapons, all for sale at fair prices. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. All right. The long I welcome you, friend. Of How may I serve you? I want you to sell me things. Take a look. Well, I want to see what you have for sale. Destruction spells. So he doesn't have that much good things. You know what? I, I will buy this though. For my data. Uh, carrying capacity increased by 75 points. That can definitely come in handy. I might buy that actually. Oh, this is even better. It's expensive, but I'll buy it. Uh, doesn't look like he's got anything else I want. No. I'll buy one of these for the future. But for now, let's go ahead and put on that backpack. Road lead you to warm sand. Well, that looks kind of ridiculous, but oh well. I don't really have trouble with my carry weight. At least not yet, but I imagine this is going to be helpful in the long run. Solitude to join the Legion. Speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Who the hell is Rogvir? He said that like if I'm supposed to know who Rogbeer is. They can't hurt Uncle Rogbeer. Well, he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor. I think we figured out who Rogbeer is. Get on with it. <clears throat> you should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now. You're all hard. What the hell's going on here? You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. I feel bad for him. They're gonna execute his ass. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Damn, they actually killed him. That's it? Can I loot the body? Yes, I can. Shut up, he's a dead body, alright? I saw the ability... Can I go up there? I want to talk to this guy. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. What the hell are you talking about? Rogvir. He had an amulet of Talos on him. You wouldn't be a 
a cell sword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Um, sure. Mind yourself in my city, friend. I guess I gotta come back later. He's probably still stuck in this whole scene. Shut up, lady. Why am I here again? Oh, yeah, I gotta go into the winking skeever, don't I? Oh. That's such a weird name, the winking skeever. <laughs> I love it. Alright, uh, where's this Malborn? Oh, I remember him. He's in a separate quest line. There he is. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. What do you need? Imperial? Uh, our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without. And I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Wait a minute. Am I going to get my shit back? Uh. What kind of thing should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. All right. So I'm ready. Okay. I'll get this inside the embassy for you. Wait. You gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Wait, wait. Um. Take my bow? Take all of my arrows, actually. Um. And take my armor? Yes. Take my armor. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. I hope I didn't fuck this up. Um, your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Well, I'm butt naked, so if I fuck this up, to get into the party yes, I got it. So, I'm pretty fucked. So, if I didn't actually give it, if I just gave it to him, gave it to him, but I didn't do it for the mission, then now he, he's got my shit. <laughs> got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. If you say so. I'm butt-ass naked, dude. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Alright, let me put on my clothes, since I'm butt-ass naked right now. Go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I know, I was butt-ass naked. What have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Good luck. Man, I'm going to be mad if they if Malborn stole all my shit. So that sucks. Well, that would suck. I don't know if that's actually the case. Because I gave him all my arrows. Uh, fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. Uh, who are you? By carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is all right. to getting lost on the way up this God's town. Uh, is there anything I could do around here? Doesn't look like there's anything I could do. Hey, you, talk to me. Your invitation, please. Uh, here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a boy. Hell yeah. Strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Shut up, lady. No one likes you, Thalmors.
Do I have a level up? I don't think so, but let me check. No, I don't. Who are you? Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Uh, my name is Lucius Invictus. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. Uh, no problem, ma'am. You have a good day. You, Malborn, talk to me. What can I get for you, sir? I'm ready. Of course. See if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Okay. Um. What does a fellow need? Erica always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. Uh, what brings you to this party? You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you sound like quite the businessman. Not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Oh, okay. Very well, then. Oh, this is the guy that was outside. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? You there, serving Uh, you look thirsty. What's your name? My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst. Oh, no. Cannot be slain. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Hell, I must have told them to cut me up. And believe me, I don't say that. will cause another scene, I suppose. A scene, you say? What brings you to this party? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Ellen little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. Um, okay. I need another drink. Can I... How do I... How do I cause a distraction? Nothing? All right. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. Who are you? It's only a matter of time before your whole rotten Empire collapses of its own decay. No offense. Um... Can there be peace between the Thalbor and the Empire? There is peace now, and that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms. And the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. I I think you're right, as a matter of fact. Uh, what are your duties here in Skyrim? I lead the Justitias. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos worship. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. What brings you to this party? There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. I can't stand these guys. Until next time. 
Alright, I think I could get a drink from this guy. Yes, what do you need? I'd like a drink. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? No. Alright then. Cause this guy said he could cause a scene if he gets what a drink. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Alright, here you go. I bought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. <laughs> if there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. As a matter of fact, there is something. Um, actually, there is something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? While this My one is looking straight at me. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. All right. Attention, everyone. It's time. What can I get for you, sir? I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone. Let's go before anyone notices us. Let's go. Oh, the door's closed already. Let me do the talking. Oh, is there somebody else here? Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Got it. Who comes, Malvo? La 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 la, don't mind me. Strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. Guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Good. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't. Please, 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 yes. I didn't put on one of my armors though. Uh, what didn't I put on? My actual armor. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Goodbye. I heard those mages um, right in here. I need to lock the door behind you. The patrol, I know there's something wrong. All right, I'm actually going to save it here. Well, all right, quick save. There we go. Did you see those robes marching this morning? Who are they with? of the emissaries treaty enforcers no they're high mate do i have i don't have these equipped so from Alan. i guess herself is finally getting worried about all the drag oh that? god ah! Ah! that backfired no! i'm dead Oh no. I'm dead. Alright, it's fine. I kind of want to wait anyways until they decide to walk away. Did you see those robes marching this morning? Who are they with? More of the emissaries treaty enforcers. No, they're Where did the other guy go? Come from? Dalmor boots, Dalmor robes, Dalmor gloves. I wonder. If a dragon does show, maybe we'll get lucky. I wonder if I can uh, sneak by wearing all of this stuff. Let me take off my helmet. This is out of curiosity. Up. Oh. All right. Well, let's uh, do something about this. All right. Weapons. I definitely need a. Come on, baby. Oh, 
Oh god. Ah! Uh. Did we do it? I kind of want to take all of this. All right, let's go ahead and take some. No, not. Oh, I don't have fucking potions. Oh, let's wait here. Oh God, he's coming. I'm dead. Son of a bitch. So we know one thing for sure. Well, two things actually. One, I need to equip some freaking arrows. All right, let's equip some arrows, and we'll definitely save it again. Did you see those robes you had around this morning? Who are they with? All right, I want to take all of this though, and I'm not much of a sneaker either. All right, let's go. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we defend this place. What was that? Your death is what it is. Oh god. Let's go, die! Screw sneaking! Well, we're definitely doing better. Alright, he's coming. Um, if you say so? Oh shit. Oh, come on. No. No. Oh god. Don't heal. Oh god. Oh god, thank god we did it. Alright, let's do this again. Take all this stuff. There was no... Hood, was there? You know what, I'm gonna take all of this and then we'll sort it out later. But for now, we're probably gonna have to be, um... Quick saving frequently around here. Let's check upstairs. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to be quick saving qui uh, frequently around here, man, just in case. Let me get ready just in case. Alright, there's nobody here, so. Oh, I can't sleep. It's owned. What's in here? Gold? Don't mind if I do. I'm nervous. Let's go. I wonder if this was even the right way to do it. Normally, I do sneak through everywhere. Come on, baby. Nice try. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Um, so far, so good, I guess. No, don't shoot me. Be nice to me. All right, that guy was imperative. He had to die. Oh shit. No! I thought I had a Fusro Da. You want something from me? Yeah, I want you to die, so luckily I think it auto or a quick saved. 
Can I wait here? Yes, it... Yes, I can. Should be a little easier. Come on, baby. Come on, stop missing! Oh, I ran right into that one. Woohoo! Luckily, no one else has come yet. They will, though. Like now. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now I can get a few shots on them. No, get out of my way! Shut up! Come on, die! Alright, he's dead. Die! I'm dead. Oh my god. That was lucky. I don't think that's enough though. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. We're gonna have to literally just chill here. Come on, baby. Oh, they don't know where I am. And I'm hidden. Don't mind if I do. Alright. We gotta be careful though, because we do know someone else is around here. All right, let's uh, take those arrows for sure. I don't see anyone though. Like no one at all. I think we're in the clear. Let's go. There should be an auto save in here. Oh god. I have my own expenses, you know. Ah, fuck it. Oh no. Maybe this wasn't the right way to do it. <laughs> You don't even have any armor. How are you taking so many uh, things? Holy shit, he summoned a... Garnet. Um... Screw it. Let's take everything, pretty much. Let's wait for... That Atronach to go away. Is he still there? Yes, it is. So, it looks like I'm actually snuck. Screw you, Atronach! Now let's get a few shots on him. We're actually gonna kill him. Hell yeah. Rune doll, what's his name? Something like that. Let me just, let me search this guy first. Nothing important. Bread, interrogation chamber key. Scroll of harmony, spell tome, reanimate corpse. All right. Ring of destruction. I think I already have all of that. Let me, let me double check. Armor. Uh, okay. And then hooded Dalmer robes. And then I have two of these. All right, I think I'm good. I don't, I don't want any of the other stuff that he has. All right, let's see what's in here. Search chest. Uh, read. First embassy, Elowin. Ellen Wynn. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party 
or power behind the dragon's resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate first... Wait. Uh, intermediate uh, manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time pressed. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Rundell the third. So they don't know who did it. Interrogation chamber. Dalmor a uh, dossier, uh, dossier Delphine. I'm reading this. Wait, how long is it? If <laughs> it's super long. Okay, good. I'm reading it. Status active capture or kill. High priority. Embassy level approval. Uh, description female Britain, mid 50s. Damn, she's, she's older. Background Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She had been identified uh, and was slated for the initial purge, but by, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of hostiles. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life, in one case killing an entire assassination team. Since Damn, she must be a badass. Since then, we have only uh, indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no more... No move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. Operational notes. She is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location. Whoops. We have no location of her. Assumed to be working alone as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim. And she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. Uh, one of the reasons she has so far evaded eliminations. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts or activity should be immediately forwarded to the third emissary. Okay. Ulfric Stormcloak. Interesting. Status asset. Asset? Uncooperative. Dormant embassy level approval. Description Jarl White, uh, Windhelm, uh, leader of Stormcloak Rebellion. Uh, Imperial Legion veteran. Background Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogation, who is now First Embassy or Emissary Ellenwyn. He was made to believe the uh, he was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the captive of the Imperial City. Oh my god. Uh, the city had in fact fallen before he had broken and then allowed to escape after the war contact was established and he was proven his worth as an asset so the so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact operational notes direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances but in general the asset should be considered dormant as long as the civil war proceeds in 
uh, in its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chances of an imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. Note, the coincidental intervention of the dragon at, Hen at Helgen is still under, uh, under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume therefore that we should not assume therefore that their goals align with our own a storm cloak victory is also to be avoided however so even indirect aid to the storm cloaks must be carefully managed wow that's interesting as hell so the thalmor are very very involved in this whole situation very interesting. All right. Fuck. All right, come on, baby. You guys don't see nothing. Let's go ahead and quick save right here. And then start blasting. Ah! No more. I did yes, you do yield. Mainly because you're dead. Alright, where's the key to this guy? Is it over here? Oh! Esburn, who's this? Search for information about the dragons returning. Uh, escape the Thalmor Embassy. Alright, status, fugitive, capture only. only. Highest priority, uh, emissary level approval. Uh, description, male, Nord, late 70s background. Esburn was one of the Blade's lore masters uh, prior to the first war against uh, the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most dam damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falnesi incident and the breach of the Blue River prison. His file had remained dormant for many years as an inexcusable error on part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Alamor for punishment and a reduction somebody got in trouble uh, in the Arrhenius belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience a salutary reminder to all operational levels that no blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason all are to be found and justice exacted upon them operational notes as we are still in the dark as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons i have made capturing esburn our top priority as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the blades uh, regret regrettably uh, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons which was derived from their Akaveri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, oh man, take me back over to uh, Oblivion, which is believed to have been the primary rep repository of the oldest blade lore. There's lo uh, lore were largely destroyed during the siege and although great efforts have been made to reconstruct uh, re re reconstruct what was lost it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack thus Esprin remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned it cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragons return 
we have recently obtained solid information that Esburn is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is uh, is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esburn becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. Damn, so that confirms it. Not even the Thalmor knows. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Shut up! Surrender immediately, or you both die. No one's dying here. Oh God, is he gonna die? He he died. All right, let's go ahead and reload that. I don't want him to die. I wonder how I could do this. Or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. Move slowly. Oh God. All right, let's go ahead and blow him out of here. Come on, baby. No, hit me. Did he die? He died. All right. Let's try this again. I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. Surrender immediately. Do I have a one-handed weapon? No, I don't. So this does 10. That does 8. This does 12. Five. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. What was that? Get it. Let's go. I didn't kill him, did I? Good. Yeah. Attack me. Oh, God. I don't have... Oh no! I'm dead. Oh, but so did El- No! Melbourne died! I don't want him to die. How do I do this, man? My god. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. Let's go! Ah, that was a mistake. I don't want him to die. I'm sorry for all this reloading, but he is not gonna die. Or you both die. Never mind. Dead already. All right. Let's go. Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. Leave him alone. Come on, baby. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. I'm dead already. What the hell just happened? That was weird. Surrender immediately. Or you both die. Never mind. What was that? I'm dead already. No. Well, he's definitely dead. Wait a minute, he's still alive. Fuck out of here. Maybe I could kill this guy first. Where is he? He got a weapon. No! Oh my god, that was so close. All right, I think we got our strategy though. Surrender immediately or you both die. No. Huh? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What's faster? I think this is faster. Did I just kill him? 
No, I didn't. Come on, Melbourne, help me! I'm dead. So the sword is definitely faster. I want Melbourne to run downstairs as quickly as possible. Never mind. Oh, come on! Come on! There we go. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Melbourne, go get a freaking... Go get a weapon. Why is this not doing that much damage? Oh, God. Come on. We did it. Let's save this shit. My God. That was absolutely terrible. Trapdoor key. Don't mind if I do. And I gotta level up, but I'm not gonna worry about the level up right now. Right now, I need to focus on other shit. Now the Falmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. Hope it was worth it. It was. Alright, this guy has nothing on him. Hey, hello. Can I release you? I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Uh, I'm not here to torture you. What? Who... What what do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get you out of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Uh, sounds great. Uh. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. About Esbern. Uh, sounds good. I'll follow you. Whatever you want. But let's go. Now. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, there's a freaking bear. Where is he? I don't- Oh, it's not a bear, it's a fucking troll! Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Come on, baby. Esbern, you moron, you're gonna die. Fucking idiot. Let's try that again. Let's go into sneak mode. Maybe we could get a couple of sneak attacks on him. Where is he? Oh my god, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh god. Looks like so am I. Where is he? You know what? I got an idea. Maybe I don't even have to fight him. I got an idea. I got an idea to not fight him. All I gotta do is Fusro die his ass and then run out. So let's go. Let's go! Did that work? I hope it did. Oh, there's him. Yes, they're both alive! Hell yeah! So, that's definitely going to do it for this video, you guys. That was a pretty tough mission, only because I'm not very good with stealth. So, it all worked out at the end, though. We actually got my guy, Mel Malborn, to survive, so that's a good thing. But, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.
Deuces. Thank you.